This is a weird setup. What do I even say? Hey, so I'm actually making a video for the first time in like three years. And I have no plan for what I'm doing. I'm just gonna start drawing in my in this sketchbook. I painted the cover. And you can draw along if you would like. I wanna show this cup that I'm working on because I think it's cool. It's got some some stuff on it. I'm I need to paint something here still, but I'll just get started on drawing, I guess. By the way, the buzzing is because of my turtle tank. It's my turtle jade. She's pretty nifty. So I started off by looking on Pinterest for a reference just to get the creative juices flowing. I don't know. What's the word that I'm trying to think of? A warm up. That's the word I'm trying to think of. I'll put the reference picture up on the screen so you can know what I was looking at. It doesn't look exactly like the reference, but it's never going to look exactly like the reference. If anyone was wondering why I haven't uploaded in three years, it's simple. I just didn't want to. Nothing happened to me. There were comments that were like, you haven't posted in so long, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I never know what to talk about in these voiceovers. I guess I could talk about my recent obsession, which is piercings. Recently, I got my conch pierced and my vertical helix pierced on my right ear. I'll put a picture of that up. And they've been troublesome. I'm not gonna lie, they're being a little rascals. Because a few days ago, it flared up and it swelled up and it was so red and it hurt really bad. I'll put a picture up of how bad it looked if you're squeamish or whatever and don't want to look at that just close your eyes and i'll tell you when you can open it so that's the picture of it it was so bad you can see how swelled up it is you can open your eyes now if you close them i went to my piercer and they just put longer bars in to help with the swelling and it has gone down so much and it doesn't even hurt it's just itchy no one really tells you, but new piercings are really itchy, at least for me. And I plan to get more. <laughs> Even though whenever it was really hurting in my head, I was like, I'm never getting a new piercing again. But that's not gonna happen. Because I love them. But I'm not gonna be crazy about it. I'm not gonna get crazy amount of piercings. It's, it's, it's gonna be fine. I won't regret it. I don't regret it. I actually really like how this turned out. I'm glad I added the red with watercolor because it really made it pop. Pop goes the weasel. Where did that saying even come from? Pop goes the weasel? I'm gonna look it up and inform you guys. So I guess it's a song from the 1850s called Pop Goes the Weasel for Fun and Frolic. I actually don't think it's a saying. I think I made that up. But it's a song. Also, I didn't add the tattoo because I didn't want to. And my favorite part is adding stars and swirls and hearts all around the drawing. It's just so fun. I doodle stars everywhere. I just love them. They're so great. So that's the finished drawing. Wow. I finished this in my. What do I do now? Get in. I should have done this before I hit record. So it's done. And now I want to do a finished piece because I actually want to make a finished piece that I'm proud of. So we'll see how that turns out. But first, I wanted to show these clips of my cat Bonnie because I thought it was cute. Someone's being a little distracting while I'm trying to do homework. Oh wait, maybe she's just gonna do it for me. Okay, now we're actually onto the drawing part. First, there was the little thumbnail of the pose I was going to do. I'll put the picture of the reference I used on screen. I didn't copy the exact reference, I was just using it for the pose. But oh my gosh, the hand was so hard to draw. I had to erase it so many times. It was, it was kind of fun, actually. Okay, but can we talk about Skibbity Toilet for a second? What is going on with that? Why is it toilets? Why are their heads coming out of it? Why does it make no sense? I don't understand it. Do I sound old if I say I don't understand Skibbity Toilet? Honestly, I kind of do get it because it's random. I feel like kids like toilets. <laughs> But it's just interesting, like, listen to this. So yeah, that was that. 
honestly kind of a banger but only because it just repeats the same thing over and over again so it's very easy to get stuck in your head and it's been stuck in my head for three days straight not really i'm nervous for gen alpha's humor if it's already starting off with skibbity toilet you know what i mean my least favorite is still line art i just don't like doing it it's not very fun i like sketching and coloring line art is just tedious for me personally i've also been in kind of an art block lately but i don't think it's 100 my fault i don't know if it's actually anyone's fault when they get an art block but that's besides the point just with school starting up and my job balancing those things and the social life i just haven't had much time but today i had work off so that's why i made this but i feel like my motivation isn't really gonna stay because it took me so many hours to do this and i don't have those hours to spare every day also i gave this drawing dahlia piercings i don't know if i said it right but i think i did just because i saw them recently and i thought they were cool so i gave it to my drawing because i'm not gonna have dahlia piercings for myself i did not understand the hype about avocado toast until recently holy <laughs> it is so good just toasting the toast just right spreading that smushed avocado putting some arg arg or i don't know some kind of spice on it and then salt and then eating it it's so delicious and i don't have any avocados in my fridge so i'm hungry <laughs> i also don't have any peanut butter and peanut butter on toast with honey and banana and granola is so scrumptious if you haven't tried that combination you should try it unless you're allergic to peanut butter then don't try it i've also been using watercolor a lot more than copic markers because i used to use copic markers a lot and i still love them however they're expensive and when i use them i feel like i'm wasting them which isn't good because i have them and they're just sitting around not doing anything but also watercolor spreads on the page so much easier and if you have a large space using a copic marker takes so much time to color that in maybe i could use both i don't know but for now, I've just been using watercolor because it's easier for me. This part of the footage really upset me because it was supposed to be in time lapse, but I accidentally recorded it regular, so I sped it up on iMovie, but it can only speed up so fast. So I had to cut some parts out so the video wasn't an hour long. And it was just upsetting because it was going to be so satisfying because I color in all of the hair and like big chunks, and that would have been satisfying to watch in a time lapse. But it still looks cool, so it's fine. I'm proud of my art improvement, honestly, because I've improved a lot. I don't want you to go rewatch my old videos because they're cringy. But if you've already seen them before, I'm pretty sure you can tell that my art's improved. Like, I feel like I drew hands before, like, blobs. And I draw them like blobs without references, but with references, they turn out good. Honestly, maybe for my next video, I could do a redraw of one of the drawings I redrew on this channel three years ago. I'll put multiple pictures of the videos that I could possibly choose from. And those are just some ideas that I just came up with. So maybe I'll do it. Maybe I won't. My favorite color is pink. I'm running out of things to say. Anyone who their favorite color is pink now, did you used to have an I hate pink phase? Because I used to despise pink. I think that I just wanted to be different, <laughs> which is why I didn't like pink. But I don't care about that stuff now, and I love pink. <laughs> hope i just gave each and every one of you a nostalgic feeling with that music does anyone else associate a certain smell with minecraft i don't know how else to explain it just i guess maybe it's the smell of your old childhood house just playing minecraft for hours i don't know but there's this certain smell that makes me think of minecraft it's like a simple smell that's the only way i know how to describe it Fun fact, I've never beat the Ender Dragon in survival mode on Minecraft. I wish I knew how many hours total in my life I've played Minecraft. 
because putting that next to the fact that I've never beat the Ender Dragon in survival mode would be interesting to look at. Have you guys heard of the new Five Nights at Freddy's movie that's coming out? I saw the trailer and honestly, I'm not excited. I feel like it's not gonna be good because of the way they made the animatronics. If you watch the trailer, their eyes turn red and narrow. And the whole point of the animatronics is that they have like an unalive feeling to them. I don't know if uncanny valley is the right word, but I feel like making them look evil and angry isn't the point, if that makes sense. I really didn't know what to talk about. I started talking about Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, there is the finished drawing. I love it so much. I don't know why that sounded sarcastic because I wasn't being sarcastic. I'm very proud of myself, actually. I don't know what I'm gonna do for my next video if I even have a next video. But I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day or night or evening or dusk or dawn. And goodbye.